Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Justin. It's Thursday. We're back at the movies for another review. And we're taking another subscriber request this week. It's been three weeks in a row. Thank you for uh, the requests. I love doing them. We're going to be doing the 2000 Ridley Scott-directed Gladiator, starring Russell Crowe, Connie Nielsen, Jaiman Hansu, Joaquin Phoenix, Oliver Reed. You know, it's... An amazingly talented cast, multiple Oscar nominations. Russell Crowe won an Oscar for the movie for Best Actor. The movie won Best Picture. And it is one of my all-time favorite movies. And I know that's saying a lot because it's not that old. It's only 22 years old. But I remember seeing this movie in theaters multiple times. You know, back then I would go to the movies and see a movie multiple times. And it's just such an amazing story with such an amazing cast. And their performances are all incredible. For those of you who are not familiar with the movie, Russell Crowe is the leader of an army in the Roman Empire. And he is very close to Marcus Aurelius, who was a real emperor in the Roman Empire. He was one of the the five good emperors. It was a dynasty of of emperors called the five good emperors. And he was the last. This is before a lot of turmoil in the Roman Republic. And you know he he defeats the barbarians in this particular battle. And he wants to go home. He wants to go home to his wife, his child, and just lead a normal life. Mar Marcus Aurelius is dying. He knows he's dying. And he wants, you know, he wants, Marcus Aurelius wants the Roman Empire to go back to being controlled by the Senate, the Republic, the, the elected leaders. Well, Commodus... Marcus Aurelius's son, played by Joaquin Phoenix, phenomenal performance. Probably should have won an Oscar for this, but he didn't. He doesn't like that. He wants power for himself. So he kills Marcus Aurelius and becomes the emperor. And he expects the same... the same loyalty from... Maximus, Maximus Decimus Meridius. And Crow doesn't give it to him. Crow loved Marcus Aurelius like a father. Well, this leads to Commodus's bloodlust, tries to kill him, ends up murdering his family, his wife, his son. This is what keeps... Russell Crowe's character going and he's eventually you know he, he eventually finds his family dead collapses from exhaustion and a wound that he suffered and he's captured by slave traders and he eventually becomes this fantastic gladiator who is guided by Proximo, played by Oliver Reed in his last performance before he passed away. And he is obviously this amazing general, but that's not what keeps him going. It's his intelligence and his desire for one last thing. He wants to end Commodus to revenge his wife and his child. And the rest of the movie plays out this way. Uh, he he's not loyal to anybody but himself and it's just this drive this passion to revenge or avenge his family and it culminates in a final battle between Commodus the emperor who didn't need to do this but his ego gets the best of him thinking he can genuinely take on perhaps the greatest general in the entire Roman Empire in combat in the Great Colosseum. But he tries to give himself an advantage. It doesn't work. 
Commodus is killed. Maximus avenges his family. But, and spoiler alert, loses his life in the, in, in, in the process. That doesn't matter to him. He's home. As Connie Nielsen says, as he's dying in the Great Coliseum in front of 50, 60,000 people, go to them. You're home. And it's, it's just such a powerful story of revenge and, you know, loyalty and betrayal. It just has everything that an all-time classic movie has. And Gladiator, in my opinion, is one of the 25 greatest movies ever made. And I think in a hundred years... It's still going to be there as one of the all-time great movies. I just think the movie has everything that you want in an all-time great movie. And it's an all-time great performance by Russell Crowe. Joaquin Phoenix's performance is one of, if not one of his best, right along with uh, Joker, which is more recent. It's just such a powerful movie. It deserves every bit. Of a 9.4. That's right. That's one of the highest scores I think I've given on this channel. Since I created this, this channel. 2000's Gladiator. Directed by the all time. Great. Sir Ridley Scott. 9.4. That's my review. To quote Commodus. Are you not entertained? I hope you are. And I'll see you guys next time at the movies. Take care.